Hello, this is Dr. Scala from Balance Living Chiropractic. I get asked on a regular basis, uh, other than pain, what else can a chiropractor help with? And um, chiropractic can help a lot with digestion issues, IBS, uh, hiatal hernia issues as well. And so I wanted to bring this case up. This is a, a, pa a newer patient of ours who came in with lo severe lower back pain, but also as we did a history on her, uh, we found out that she has severe IBS, uh, which makes her not want to eat. She also has acid reflux and a whole host of digestive issues uh, along with that. And so this film that you're looking at here, this is a film of the lower back. If we look, this is a lateral view. So again, here is the sacrum, L5 all the way up through L1. And what we want to see with this view is a nice graceful curve. And what we're seeing with this patient is a hyper uh, curve too much curve in the spine and then it straightens out up here and so that's going to put a lot of pressure on this segment here between C or L3 and L4 these are going to be the nerves that are going to go into the colon and the bladder and uh, all those issues and also into the sexual organs and the lower back and so this could be causing this could be one part of this patient's symptoms and why they're having lower back pain and also why they're having uh, severe issues with their stomach. If we go into another view, this is going to be a view um, from the front in the lower back. And so we can also see this patient presents with a scoliosis. This patient uh, has a mild scoliosis, most likely that's been there for a long time, and that's really not of concern for us. The other view that we want to be concerned about with this patient is going to be the frontal view of the head neck. And so here is the head, the eyes, the nose. Here down here is the neck. And this, top, this line right here represents the top bone of the spine. Uh, the reason we're looking at that is because we want that top bone to be nice and symmetrical so the person, uh, is, person's brainstem is not damaged. And so what we see with this person's um, atlas, it's sliding off to the right three and a half degrees, three and a quarter degrees, and that's gonna put a lot of pressure down onto the brainstem. And so this patient has a couple different issues. First off, we need to address the lower back. Second thing we need to address the neck. And if we can address those two areas, not only am I confident that we can get rid of their lower back pain, but there is a very good chance that we can help them with all of their digestive issues that they've been suffering from for years and years and years. And so when you are dealing with symptoms, you don't want to just uh, treat the symptom. You want to look at the cause. And the cause for this patient, uh, in my mind, is going to be the top bone of her spine and also what's going on in the lower back. If we can get those nerves unpinched and functioning correctly, this patient will have their life back and not have to deal with these issues anymore. If this sounds like you, we'd love to evaluate you and see if you have any of these issues uh, in terms of what's going on with your spine. This is Dr. Scala from Balanced Living Chiropractic.